What is up Outdoor Mavericks? Welcome or welcome back to the channel. It is time for some spring boat prep. That means we gotta wash the boat, we gotta put our brand new stickers on it, and today we're using some really cool product to wash the boat. This is from Better Boat Company. This is their boat soap that's 100% biodegradable. It's nice and friendly for the fish and gets your boat nice and clean. And they're a really cool American company. They sent me a nice little care package of some boat soap, some racers, and some wipes for the boat to keep it clean as well as the kayak that's coming soon. Oh yeah, we got a kayak as well coming soon. So washing the boat with this really cool biodegradable soap from Better Boat. So if you have a boat or a kayak and need to keep it clean, I highly recommend this boat soap from Better Boat. And I got links below to their website and to this soap in particular. So once you use it, you're never gonna use another boat soap again. So let's get the boat washed up. Let's get the boat cleaned up, get the new stickers on it so that we're legal when we go fishing. And then let's get out to the lake and let's go do some fishing. Alrighty, well good morning Mavericks. It has been quite a day. We made it to the lake, not as early as we anticipated. We got a few issues now that we've got the boat cleaned up. We've got the stickers on there. The fish finder dashboard is not working, but the trolling motor's working and we've got a new plug-in. So we're doing all right, but a little bit concerning that we couldn't, I don't know what's going on with the fish finder this morning it's just it wasn't working dicked around with it at the dock for like 20 minutes just nothing so I'm like well all right well not completely sure what's going on today but we're right on the big lake we're gonna chase some trout to start Richie's gonna meet us in a little bit so we're gonna be fishing today with our normal setup our normal one ounce weight here we've got our dodger flasher and then we're gonna be fishing with the good old spin fish tip with a little bit of corn today so that's how we're gonna start I'm charting way off course here let's get back on course got the good old spin fish here in the blue and the silver if you guys can see that it imitates dying bait fish where this is one of my favorite lures and baits to fish when trolling for trout and that's what we're going to start with today and i found a uh, jar of gulp alive so that's how we're going to start our day today because the last time i had a jar of this spilled it all over the freaking boat everywhere it was a complete an utter disaster. So let's pour a little bit of the liquid out. Spread one of these on the hook. You only need one. You don't need a ton of corn. Leave the hook exposed and then let's get it in the water and see how she fishes for a little bit. Good to be out today. I've not been out at the lake for quite a while. It's been, I've not been out this year yet because we've been doing some bank fishing, been salmon fishing with some friends. Just haven't made it out here to the lake in a while. So for today, go troll for some trout and see if we can't find a few biters. Sun's just popping out. Absolutely beautiful freaking day out here. Absolutely beautiful freaking day. Water is pretty high though, I will say. Listen, I got out here into the launch and was prepping the gear and I noticed that the water was very, very high. Like higher than, I don't know, higher than normal. Very high. All right. Got the first rod in. And on this one, we're gonna use some pink shoe peg fire corn. Again, different or same weight setup. But this time we got the triangle fish flash from Yakima Bait. Spin fish. We're gonna add a couple pieces of corn, which I really like. This has just been something I've been playing around with. It's a little bit different, different type of color. It's still corn. So we're gonna start with this. Grab the old good uh, sweet corn tried and true. We need to zero out our there. I'll start letting this out. I've got a couple, I'm doing a couple different distances out just to kind of feel for where these fish might be. The water's super, super high. So I'm gonna guess they may come in shallow and they may be pretty high to the top. So we're gonna kind of be in search and destroy mode here and kind of see what's happening behind the boat. Got the same one ounce weight. So if I find a, a line that I uh, like in terms of depth on the line counter, then I can switch it all to the same if I'm getting bites. So you can destroy here pretty quick and hopefully we can get, uh, put all our baits in the corner here. Hopefully Hopefully we can get on a couple of early biters fishing and trolling for some trout here we go just very odd you guys i'm like i'm not a boat expert electronics expert but i took my boat in for maintenance a while back finally got it back first time I'm taking it out and power for the garmin is not starting up i unplugged everything replugged everything back in and there's just a ton of wires under there and i am no engineering electronics
electrician expert, so i probably going to have to leave that to the experts because I have no freaking clue what I'm doing. And then I'm going to probably make a few passes in shallow because they might be up close. They've stocked fish here recently. Nice crisp morning. Down for sure. Holy cow. I heard that. Well, that was a drive by. Holy crap. Well, if that was a fish, he didn't stick. Damn. Just. Well, that's unfortunate. Right, check the bait. Looks. God, that was something right there. All right, well, second pass. New fish. Just that one drive by, and I saw one get caught, so reel this up and then let's put some fresh corn on get that hooked in a little sweet corn gel get ourselves back on course here now the wind's picking up oh yes all right there we go put them back in to come up with something new because we haven't gotten a bite since that one so i'm gonna bust out this late troll played around with this in a long time and we're gonna see if we can catch one on one of these oh, gonna try something a little bit different we're gonna fish a lake troll with a spinner well behind it fish that for a little bit and we might switch back to a spin fish here in a little bit and try that That's a fish. Oh, let's see if he's still there. Oh, we got something. What has he got? We got one? Kind of an odd bite. It's kind of out of nowhere. Just changed my speed up a little bit. Oh, something's there. Yeah. There we go, guys. I think we got something on the spin fish. It is a... What is that? It is a trout. There we go. We actually got one. I'll be dang. Try to get this guy in here. Just bit right on that spin fish. Oh, he's kind of beat up. Let's um, better grab the net. He's hanging up behind the boat. Trying to steer and fish at the same time is not very easy. Not very easy. All right, he's about here to the surface. Oh my gosh, yes, nice fish. Get him in the net. Be our first one of the day. Oh, don't go into the boat. Don't go into the boat. Oh, he saw the net. He saw the net. Come here. Come here. There we go. Let's go. Woo. Wow. Well, I was just about to say it's been a little tough out here. And all of a sudden, we got ourselves a fish. I'll be them. We got ourselves a trout. And he spit the hook. The second we got him in, let's get him up. <laughs> well, I'll be darned. Well, don't get the hook in my hand. Ooh, let's go. Took us a little while, but there it is. So there's the bait we caught it on. The good old trusty spin fish Rooney. Nice, good sized little stalker. Not gonna make it because he's got a hook jammed way in him. So what we're gonna end up doing is we're gonna keep this guy. Freaking let's go, yes. <laughs> First one in the box. There we go. About damn time, let's freaking go. I was just about to think, you know what? About time maybe we should grab some lunch or something, but I guess we should make another pass probably through there. What do you guys think? Well, it can happen quick. It can happen just like that. There we go. First fish of the year trolling. Got it on the Yakima Dodger here, it's just got some red and straight up chrome. And then what I've got here is the spin fish in the 2.0 version. This is the blue silver one. And then I've got a tip with a little bit of that gulp corn. And that's what we got that fish on. <laughs> Again, I'm not fishing too deep. So that's two bites at that depth. So I think I'm gonna adjust this other rod to be a little bit shallower. Again, that fish was on the spin fish, but this is the corn that I've been using 
for trout. It's gulp alive. So looks, feels, and tastes alive, it says, just like corn. So it's corn with a little bit of liquid in there to keep it. And it's a saturated, basically powerful gulp attractant. And it's one of the baits that I started to use because when you're trolling for trout, corn is magical. And so one of the things I started to do is just experimenting with some different corns and this gulp and the corn scent was perfect. It looks like corn, it's yellow. The trout absolutely just freaking love it. And so I buy a jar of these every once in a while when I run out or when I get one that gets a little bit too dry. And I just fish with these and just tip my hooks with them. And this is the, what I use for my baits, like on my spinner, like on my spinners, on my spin fish. And then I add sometimes a little bit of sweet corn with it. Now this time I didn't have any sweet corn to those. It was just straight up natural with the gulp, but these are really good. If you guys have never tried the gulp alives, give these a shot. They definitely work. And I highly recommend if you're gonna be trolling a lot to grab some of these and some other corn because some days they like one type of corn some days they like different types of corn but i've had the most success in the last few years on this gulp alive Mavericks, we made it back to the house and it was definitely a tough day of trout fishing. I saw a few trout get caught out there. I had two strikes, got one that we landed in the net, which was a really awesome trout. We got it on the smoker right now. So definitely make sure when you're out trolling for trout, you at least got some corn with you at all times. And to wrap it up, thank you again to Better Boat for sending me that care package and being able to clean up my boat and my future kayak and keeping them nice and clean. And again, if you have a boat or a kayak yourself and you need some really good biodegradable degradable cleaning products. I'll leave those links in the description below for all those products that I love from Better Boat. Definitely get yourself some of that boat wash because it's going to get your boat nice, super juicy clean. So thank you guys for coming along today's trout trolling adventure. I'll see you guys on the next one. And as always, the outdoors is a gift. Share it with others.